This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. Hey guys, I'm back with another Fallout 4 Far Harbor DLC analysis, review, and location video for you guys. Today we're going to be going over the Heavy Trapper Armor. What we'll be doing is we'll be going over the pros of this armor, the cons of this armor, and just some interesting coincidences and observations I made while looking and comparing this to other armor types. So let's go ahead here and we will get into it. Now, the Trapper Armor's upgrade requirements are extremely low when it comes to the actual resources you need. However, the Butchrist set requires an armor perk level of 4. Now, this is really high, so you're going to need to be at least level 39 if you want to fully upgrade the Heavy Trapper armor. That said, in terms of resources, you only need adhesive, cloth, and steel, and specifically, you will need 12 adhesive, 6 cloth, and 26 steel to fully upgrade a set of heavy trapper armor. Really the most uncommon resource here is the adhesive and really cloth is virtually everywhere and steel is virtually everywhere. So if you wanted to use this armor and fully upgrade it to its maximum, the costs of doing so are very low. You just need to be a high level. Now, like the heavy combat armor from the vanilla game and the newly added marine armor that also got added with the Far Harbor DLC, you get an even damage and energy resistance rating on all of the pieces. Now, the actual damage resistance is still going to be lower than combat armor from the vanilla game, both when not upgraded and when fully upgraded. Another thing that's worth mentioning is you know how in the vanilla game you can upgrade, like, say, leather armor or combat armor and it'll change its color and appearance? Uh, it doesn't appear that you can change the appearance of trapper armor when you upgrade it from say the standard version to the buttressed version. Speaking of this armor's appearance, trapper armor in my opinion looks a lot like an armor set that we might see out of an Elder Scrolls game, specifically I guess like Skyrim, um, and really excluding some of the belts and be belt buckles you'll see on this armor, I mean it feasibly probably could fit in the Elder Scrolls universe if you wanted to do that. All we need is our Skyforge sword and we're pretty much set. Now one of the more interesting observations that I have made is that in terms of weight, it appears that the Trapper armor uh, at its base model and even when upgraded, weighs the same as Heavy Synth armor. Uh, now you could argue that the Trapper armor is a poor man's combat armor with higher weight than normal. However, really, I think between the weight for both both the Heavy Synth Armor and the Heavy Trap Armor, you're obviously going to want to use Heavy Synth Armor because it's providing those better resistances. Plus, the Heavy Synth Armor provides the best energy resistance of any normal armor piece in the game that's not a power armor armor piece. Another thing that's worth mentioning is that the base non-upgraded heavy models for both leather and metal armor provide superior resistances when it comes to energy and damage resistance respectively. So the leather armor is going to have better energy resistance than the trapper armor and the metal armor is going to have better damage resistance than the trapper armor. Now the trapper armor does outclass both of them when it comes to providing the other resistance type. So for example, on leather armor, you're going to have lower damage resistance than the trapper armor, and for the metal armor, you're going to have lower energy resistance than the trapper armor. Now the trapper armor may actually be better than metal armor, as typically trapper armor pieces are lighter. Um, however, leather armor pieces are lighter than the trapper pieces, so you may be getting better damage and energy resistance per pound with leather as opposed to trapper armor. Now just like the marine armor video, I've gone ahead and I've done a global damage and energy resistance per pound value for the heavy trapper armor. Now of course just like in the marine armor video, what I did is I took the damage resistance and energy resistance of each piece and I divided it by the weight and then I averaged everything out and what I have found is that heavy trapper armor has a global damage and energy resistance per pound value 
value of 1.4. Uh, meaning it's less efficient than higher tier armors. And specifically, this is lower than the marine armor, the heavy combat armor, the heavy synth armor, and the damage resistance portion of the heavy robot armor. Keep in mind that the heavy trapper armor has superior energy resistance per pound than the heavy robot armor. Now, I'm not going to really be too critical of that because this isn't meant to be one of the best armors in the game. This is going to be one of those armors that you use until you can get one of the best armors in the game. Heavy Trapper armor isn't really meant to be high-end armor for non-power armor users, and in that sense, I would say that it may be worth your time if you have a lower level character. Now, the only thing is, is that you're probably better off going to Far Harbor with a higher level character in the first place, and it's possible that by the time you can actually acquire this armor reliably, you've probably already got something that's better. I found so far that Trapper armor seems to be relatively common on trapper enemies well duh but the thing is is i found that on my level 41 or 42 character it seems like i can regularly encounter trapper enemies that frequently seem to have at least one or two pieces of the heavy trapper armor and in some cases they may even have the full set just keep in mind that you can only find trapper enemies in the area of Far Harbor and that your mileage may vary. Plus by that point, you're going to be able to max out X01 power armor or heavy synth armor depending on the route that you ultimately decide to choose, whether you are a power armor person or a not power armor person. I guess in summary, if you can get this thing early on, you should do it because it is essentially a poor man's combat armor. However, that high weight does hurt it somewhat. Anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. And as always, take care and I'll see you all next time.